going on guys army boy here and today i'm bringing you guys another division 2 build video and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys this build i made this build is a armor regeneration build that you get up to 100,000 armor regeneration per second um, with all the stacks from the memento so hope you guys enjoy make sure you guys like comment subscribe and let's go right into the build so first i'm gonna start off with my weapon here i'm using a test subject which is the name pdr and I have it rolled with damage to target out of cover, which is giving me um, multiplicative damage. And um, I'm using a talent perfectly in sync. Hitting an enemy grants 20% skill damage for 5 seconds. Using a skill or damaging an enemy with the skill grants 20% weapon damage for 5 seconds. And damage increases are doubled while both buffs are active at the same time. So I'm going to get 40% um, weapon damage bonus and also skill damage bonus. When I have both buffs going so I also have this roll with um, crit chance for the sight and crit chance for the muzzle as well and I have a magazine that gives me 10 rounds and I'm also using the exotic shotgun for my secondary the Scorpio and now if we move on to my gear I'm using the um, Gila Guard 3 piece for the 5% total armor 10% health and most importantly the 1% armor regen and I also have this rope with crit hit chance and um, armor regen. And I also have a mod on here that's giving me 11% crit hit damage. Now for my chest piece, I'm using Fenris Group for the 10% assault rifle damage. Um, I have this rope with crit hit chance and armor regeneration. And I also have a mod on here that gives me 6% crit hit chance. And I'm also using, um, I also have a talent rolled on here, um, Intimidate. While you have bonus armor, it amplifies total weapon damage by 35% to enemies within 10 meters. So every time I pick up a trophy, I get bonus armor. So that's why I, I roll Intimidates here, so I can get 35% uh, weapon damage bonus. Um, for my holster, I have um, Gilligard as well. Um, using, well, I have it rolled with armor regeneration and crit hit damage. For my knee pads, I'm using... Um, Bellstone Armory for the One Piece bonus, the 1% um, armor regeneration. And I also have this roll with crit hit chance and crit hit damage for the gloves. Um, I also have uh, Gilligard. This is rolled with armor regeneration and crit hit chance, I mean crit hit damage. And for the backpack, I'm using the Memento. I have the Memento with a 10% um, crit hit damage mod, and also it also has the talent kill confirm. Enemies you kill drop a trophy on death. Collecting trophies provide both a short and long term buff, the first of which scales with the number of core attributes equipped and lasts 10 seconds. So I'm getting around, well, first let me say, um, I get 5% weapon damage for um, the red bonuses. For the blue ones, I'm getting 10% bonus armor. For the yellow ones, I'm getting 5% skill efficiency. So if we go back here, I'm at two um, red core attributes. So I'm going to be getting 10% weapon damage. I'm at 5 um, blue, so I'm getting, what is that, 50% bonus armor. And I'm at 1 yellow, so I'm just getting 5% skill efficiency. Now also, for every trophy collected, I gain an additional 1% weapon damage and 1% skill efficiency. And this is why I'm running the momentum. I'm getting 0.1% armor regeneration for 300 seconds, and that's a maximum of 30 stacks. So I'm going to be getting 3% armor regeneration, which is a big buff compared to anything else I could get uh, here. And um, I'm also using the ballista uh, shield that you get for running um, the firewall specialist. And I'm also using the striker drone. Now I'm going to go over to my stats. I have 34% crit hit chance, 83% crit hit damage. And if I go over to my defense, I'm at 1.6 million armor, and I have 51,000 um, armor regeneration without any buffs going. So, uh, yeah, that's the build. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.